I'm Jason, Product Manager at Canto Audio, and today I'm going to be talking about speaker placement. Now, finding the right place in your room for your speakers is critical to get the best performance from your speakers. Just like waves in an ocean, sound waves interact in your room, increase in intensity in certain areas, and decrease intensity in other areas. So you owe it to yourself to find a place in your room where your speakers and room work harmoniously and you get the most even frequency response. So there's four steps we're gonna be doing in order to get your speaker set up perfectly. We're gonna be first determining the height that your speakers need to be at. Then we're gonna be determining where your speakers and seating position need to be in the room. We're then gonna determine how wide the speakers need to be. And then we're gonna actually listen to the speakers and make some final tweaks. So let's get into it. The first thing that we're gonna do is determine our speaker's height. Now this is important because speakers disperse pretty well horizontally, but not that well vertically. So getting your speakers lined up with your ears is gonna ensure that your speaker doesn't sound muffled or rolled off. So I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and the tape measure, and we're gonna use these tools to determine our speaker's height. I'm gonna take the piece of tape and I'm gonna put it at 42 inches from the floor because that's a pretty good approximation of where your eyes sit when you're seated. Now we're gonna take a seat in our chair and we're gonna look at that piece of tape and we're gonna determine if it needs to go a little higher or a little lower. So in this case, my eyesight sits a little bit lower than the piece of tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it down a bit. Now once I've done that, I can take the measurement from the tweeter to the bottom of the speaker and deduct it from that height. So this is nine inches. And this is 41 inches. So 41 minus nine gets you 32 inches. And we just so happen to have our speakers set up on 32 inch speaker stands. Now, I recommend speaker stands because you're gonna be moving your speakers around during this process and you're gonna want a dedicated piece of furniture to move around on. It's very unlikely that your bookshelf or the piece of furniture in your living room is the best place for your speaker. The next step is determining where our speakers and our seating position need to be in the room. We're gonna be using the rule of thirds. We're gonna be placing our speakers one third from the front wall and our seating position one third from the rear wall. I've already measured this room, it's 15 feet, and I've already placed my seating position five feet from the rear wall, and we're gonna be placing our speakers five feet from the front wall. So five feet is about right here. And at this point, don't worry about how wide the speakers are apart. We're gonna figure that out in the next step. Now we realize that you might not be able to pull the setup off in your own home. It's pretty far away from the wall. But the worst place to put your seating position or your speaker is right against the wall or in the middle of the room. So try as best you can to get your seating position and your speakers away from the walls. The next step, step three, is determining how wide the speakers need to be apart from each other. Now we're gonna use the equilateral triangle theory. We're gonna place ourselves at one point of the equilateral triangle in our seat, and the other two points are our speakers. So we're gonna take a seat and measure our speaker and determine how wide it needs to be from there. So this speaker is about 56 inches away from myself. So I'm gonna move the speakers apart 56 inches. I'm just going to eyeball it first and then I'll take a measurement, see what adjustments I need to make. Bang on. Now that you move your speakers apart, you might find one of them is really close to a sidewall. If that's the case, you're going to want to add a little bit of diffusion beside your speaker. We've used a bookshelf here, but anything that diffuses sound like some plants or some books or a stack of vinyl will work perfectly. You want to avoid a situation where your speaker is reflecting off a hard surface because it'll reduce sound quality. The last step is to actually listen to the speakers and start making some adjustments. 
Everything that we've done up to this point is just getting an estimate of where the speakers need to be. So the first thing we're gonna to listen to is bass response. So ideally, you want your bass in your room to be even. You don't want certain frequencies or certain notes to be louder than others. So we're gonna take a seat and we're gonna to listen to some bass heavy music. We've created a playlist of some music that we like to use when we're testing bass, and you can find that in the description below. So start playing your song and pay attention to how even the bass is. You're gonna to wanna to pick a track that has a bunch of different bass notes, not something that has a monotonous bass line. So I'm finding that certain frequencies sound a little bit louder than other frequencies. So I'm gonna move the speakers back a little bit and then give it another listen. So I'm gonna move it back about four inches or so. And just with that small amount of adjustment, I'm noticing the bass is a little bit smoother. It's not quite there, so I could probably go a little bit further. Just keep going back and forth, listening to music and moving the speakers back until you get a nice, even bass response. The next thing we're gonna listen for is imaging. Imaging is essentially like the depth of the music. When your speakers are set up properly, it'll sound like there's sounds that are coming from behind the speaker and sounds that are coming up a little bit forward. So to test imaging, we're gonna to listen to a vocal heavy track. And we're gonna to want to pick something that has vocals right in the center of the mix. So start playing some music and pay attention to if vocals sound like they're sitting directly in between your speakers. I'm finding that the vocals don't sound perfectly pinned to the center, so I'm gonna to tow my speakers in just a little bit and see if it improves it. Just that little adjustment has made the vocals pin directly in the center. It sounds a lot better now. There's certain circumstances in which your speakers might sound really good just facing towards yourself with no toe in. Some speakers are really good off axis and they sound pretty good wherever you sit. But you might have to adjust this a few times to get perfect. And if you're in a situation where your speaker is really close to a sidewall, you're probably gonna have to toe your speaker in a bit more to avoid that reflection we were talking about earlier. Now at this point, your speaker should be 90% set up, but there are a couple extra tweaks you can do to make it sound even better. One of the things you can do is listening for mid bass response. So that's essentially where kick drums and low male vocals sit. If you find that those frequencies are a little bit overwhelming, you can pull your speakers apart. And if you find they're a little bit lacking, you can move your speakers together. And the last tweak that you can do is improving soundstage. Soundstage is the width of your music. So if you're finding like you have good imaging, but your stereo width is a little bit narrow, it doesn't sound like there's sounds coming beyond the speakers, you can put a little bit of diffusion behind the speaker. So same thing, bookshelf, plants, books, vinyl, anything like that will work. After watching this tutorial, I hope your speakers are dialed in and sounding perfect. If you like this video and you wanna see more tips and tricks, check out our YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe. I'm Jason from Canto Audio, Thanks for watching.